You're jamming to the sounds of Toronto's versatile child, DJ Tyler Reed. Them a talk about them mama, but them mama she a dead for younger. So what about the ladies who don't stand a chance, the victim of a circumstance? What's up guys, it's your boy Ants Canada here. Uh, once again, bringing you another random but helpful tutorial. It's another tutorial because it's winter and let's face it, the ants are still sleeping. Let's give them the break they need. Um, so not so much footage, but they are starting to wake up, which is pretty good. For this next tutorial, I wanted to create a video on the abundance of information that exists out there for ant lovers like ourselves. I remember being a kid and going to the public library and borrowing the same ant books over and over again and you know I had to compete at the time with Johnny Smith who would always take out the same ant books as me. It seemed like we were the only two ant lovers in the city at the time but those times are over because now it's a global nation and we're all connected via the World Wide Web. Again, there's just tons of info out there and a lot of venues for ant keepers and ant enthusiasts like ourselves to convene and exchange information. So I wanted to show you some of the great sites that I visit and some of the excellent resources that the Ants Canada Ant Store offers people like yourselves. Um, who love ants. And I think my mom is a real provider. I know she's a fighter, so I stay beside her. In 2009, I wanted to create a home base for ant lovers like us. And so we put together a great team and created AntsCanada.com. If you visit the FAQ section of the site, you'll be able to read up on a ton of great info some tips that Ants Canada has come up with over 20 years of anting experience. Now we've divided our frequently asked ant questions into five categories about Ants Canada, collecting ants, ant care, our form of carry-on products, and miscellaneous. So let's say you want to ask a question on collecting ants. You simply click on the collecting ants button and it'll take you directly to our collecting ants frequently asked questions section and there you have it how can I capture my own queen ant every question is answered thoroughly the FAQ section at the antscanada.com website is a great resource for ant keepers new and old so be sure to check it out Here at the Ants Canada store, we highly recommend and encourage the keeping of ants native to one's area. And I often get the question, Ants Canada, how do I catch my own queen? How do I catch my own ants? Um, how do I go and collect my own colony? Well, our philosophy is, if you know what you're looking for, and if you know the ants in your area, inside and out, it's not very hard to collect your own colony or collect your own gravid queen. So Google offers a great tool for ant keepers like us to help us become more aware of the ant species in the area. So I would like to begin keeping ants this year and a typical Google search would begin like this. You type in common ant species in Ontario. Now of course in your case you would replace Ontario with whatever city, province, country or region you're from and it will do the search for you. Now you'll come across a lot of pest control sites, just ignore those, but among the websites you should be able to find a good list of ants in your area upon which you can click on those and I'm going to click on the first one here which will take me to a research paper by someone from the University of Guelph which happens to be the university I attended um, and scrolling down we have here cornfield ants We've got Laceus alienus, it looks like here. Don't be afraid if you come across scientific names um, that look like this. It's pretty much the identification of the species that are in your area. Now, usually it'll be accompanied by some information on that species. In this case, we've got what the ants look like, their nesting habits. So, now I want to see what these ants look like. So we simply go back to Google um, and you'll notice that on the upper left hand corner 
you'll see Google Images. You click on Google Images and type in Laceus Alienus, which we saw, and voila. We have a bunch of images of Laceus Alienus. Very helpful. If you look here, we've got a picture of a Laceus Alienus queen, um, so we know what a queen looks like. We've got several pictures here of Laceus Alienus nests, in case we come across a nest uh, this season. We've got pictures of the workers, which is great. And finally, pictures of just random behavior, and in this case, it's their aphid farming. So, Google and Google Images offers a great tool for allowing yourself to become aware of all the species in your area and when you know what to look for and you, when you know what the ants look like and what their nests look like collecting ants and collecting queens is really a piece of cake and of course for all you crackbook addicts aka facebook users there's the Ultimate Ants and Myrmecology Facebook group available to all of us ant lovers out there to convene, to share our photos, share our videos, share experiences, ask our questions. We've got tons of members from all over the world, um, people asking questions and of course people answering them. We've got a ton of great photos added by members in the Facebook group. It's fantastic. We have photos of Formicaria, ants, setups, it's all there, be sure to check it out. We also have tons of great discussions um, in the discussion boards at the Ultimate Ants and Myrmecology Facebook group. So be sure to check it out. Here's a new thing. For all you Twitter users, be sure to follow the Ants Canada Ant Store, twitter.com slash antscanada. It just started, so we'll begin posting all our great videos, information, uh, websites, and all that sort of thing. Be sure to follow us, and we will follow you as well. Now here's a great site. We've got the Ant Farm and Myrmecology Forum. Awesome, awesome forum and ant online community, um, and it's got a huge wealth of information on ants, on keeping ants, on ant biology. There are tons of members there. Of course they've got the keeping ants section for people like us who keep ants. And in that section you'll find tons of great info, people asking questions, people answering them. And of course the Ants Canada Ant Store has our own journal there on our store and the multiple species under our care. Just a tip. If you do intend on participating in this forum, they're very strict on grammar and spelling, so be sure to use this spell checker. No slang allowed! You know, the great thing that I love about Europe is they have such an avid and serious ant keeping community there. And they have a great forum there. So, if you click on the forum button at antstore.net, it'll take you to this page. And you simply click on board index. And you'll find a list of the different forums in the different European languages. Now, I do know that a lot of you ant lovers are from the UK and other parts of Europe. Donc, si vous cherchez de l'information sur des fourmis, et ama di formiche, Venite a visitare il sito web www.anstore.net para ottener informazioni perché amamos a las hormigas. And finally, what would we do without YouTube? YouTube is an awesome resource for ant lovers like us. There are tons of great ant videos on the web. Be sure to subscribe, we have constant videos coming out, constant tutorials to help fellow ant keepers, and we strive to create quality videos that are both entertaining and educational for all of us.
So there you have it guys. Thank you so so much once again to all of you guys who have been watching videos, who have subscribed to the channel. As you heard, please do subscribe to the channel for all your end goodies and, uh, and, and videos. Um, and before I go, I just wanted to thank Liz from Calgary. Thank you so so much for sending in the shirt. I totally love it. <laughs> and it's f so appropriate. Um, so anyway, by all means, everybody, please visit our store and just have a look around. And uh, keep loving those ants. Until next time, this is Ants Canada signing out. Thank you. My mom's a survivor. She's a survivor. She makes up not a nothing. My mom is a real provider. I know she's a fighter. So I stay beside her. She made the impossible, so possible. My G's like a MacGyver. Well, listen to me. Hey, my father leave from about 19. No, not from your baby. Me here say him live up on you.